What is going on, guys? You're back on another video today, and we are on our Desperados franchise. Of course, it's a fantasy draft relocation franchise. We're in the trade menu right now because I was trying to look around and see what we can get. This is kind of a long-standing trade to move off uh, guys like McCaffrey and potentially Amos. We trade pick 32, 27, and Kaiser for Baptiste, who very well could be the best safety in this entire league. Uh, I kind of want to take a quick look at everyone else first, but I think he very well could be. Let's take like a free safety. Uh, we got some fast guys. You do have uh, you know guys like Malik Hooker, uh, any strong fellas? Not really. And the reason why I list this guy as the best of the safeties, look at how good he is. 97 hit power, 91 speed, 92 excel, 88 agility, 22 years old. 22. And guess his death. Obviously superstar. What else did you expect? He could play corner if he needs to. Could be something in the future. Who knows? 225. He's kind of on the heavier side for safety. So could be a linebacker if you wanted to. 75 catching. That's great. Uh, jumping is 88, which is perfectly fine. Uh, didn't look at the injury or stamina or anything. So luckily that is pretty good. I think this allows us to move Amos off. I really wanted Marlon Humphrey. I didn't, couldn't get him. I think we're going to trade uh, McCaffrey and Amos for draft picks and maybe move Obi Melifonwu down. Um, I don't know. Maybe Terrell Edmonds can move into linebacker. I don't know. I like it would be interesting to have the Edmonds at linebacker. But I like Lorenzo. It's just he's so, you know, 25 with quick or whatever it is, is very hard to work up from. So I don't even know. We trade McCaffrey in a fifth round this year for the Packers' first round pick. So we are moving up in pick rank, especially if we do get rid of Amos. I don't know what the contract was for any of these guys to be on. Well, I know McCaffrey. I, I would assume we wouldn't have paid the Amos past 29 or 30. And he's already 28, so I don't even know. We may have paid him recently, but we can take the hit, I think. Uh, overall, it'll make us cheaper in the long run because we, we went for Baptiste, who is a rookie, and then we're losing two quote-unquote veteran contracts. Oh, crap. I didn't even I thought it was going to take more than Amos, but it was Amos for pick 10 from the uh, the Patriots. So we technically get worse, but I like Sony Michelle Ballage as the, uh, the the number three. And then, of course, we're going to move Obi Melifonwu down to cornerback. Even if we didn't move in a cornerback, we'd be definitely set. But it's going to be an interesting one because our cornerback core definitely gets a bit taller. Uh, and uh, it's going to be interesting to see what happens. I think pure cornerback skill, Obi, is probably a little bit worse than uh, Amos, but still a very good player. We finally got that man coverage to a feasible level. We just need to probably upgrade one hybrid, and then uh, we'll be good to go. Good hit power as well, even higher than Amos. I think Amos had like 85 catching of 74 so we should have some good hands at corner i mean i think it technically probably will be an upgrade it's just the actual coverage rating might be a little bit lower when against the four and two broncos obviously a, this would be a huge win for them back at home obviously gavin ryan is still the start of josh allen out for a few more weeks our defense gets a little bit meaner honestly we get a uh, you know obi melifonwu in towards the ball a little bit more baptiste is the probably the strongest guy we have on the team right now at least on the defensive side lots of hit power ready to see what he can do pop some balls out and maybe even kill some people you know mur full on murder is fine sometimes Dalvin with a very good week last week we played him in our uh, Chicago franchise and he did well there so it's going to be an interesting one going against Dalvin 4-2 and two, you know that's pretty damn good obviously they're on their way even if they lose they still have a pretty decent shot at making the playoffs if they can continue that success so Edmonds I don't even see Baptiste where the hell is he oh here he is hello oh look at him oh he missed the tackle come on Baptiste if he would have freaking oh my lord I would assume it's Baptiste right it's not Baptist is it 36 maybe we change his number for now obviously we're in the game can't really do much about it now but 36 I think is a pretty good number maybe not for a strong safety the more of a free safety and there goes Cooks and, geez, the whole team getting pushed back there. Vash, I want to user him this game. I kind of want to just see what he's like. Oop, I went down. No, that's my fault. Oh, there goes Dalvin, even though he made a terrible decision. Gets a good gainer there. I just want to get him involved, but, like, obviously he's just a safety, so you're not really going to see a whole lot out of him. Can't bust through. Tries to spin it back, and there goes Miles Garrett. Oh, that's actually Davenport. 
Thought uh, Miles Garrett was playing the other side for a play. Probably not going to see him here. you got to keep an eye on Obi as well. He's playing, you know, cornerback, which I think he can play perfectly fine. But you just never know. And there goes Teal with a pick. Ironically, that was uh, Obi's mistake. Little move by Teal. Gets caught up by Dalvin. Nice pick by uh, the youngster. Dequan Barkley wants his 40th career rushing touchdown. He easily will get that this game. No question about it. Hell, maybe even get it on this play if we're lucky. Might even get it. Oh, I thought he was going to slip. If he would have had a one-on-one -on -one shot with that cornerback, he would have. But someone caught us in the hole, which is really shocking. Josh Allen's starting to realize he's replaceable. And this offensive line is definitely replaceable. Jesus. Toon makes that slot receiver full-time here. Gavin Ryan with the perfect pass. And you know Burgess is scoring with that thing. Just get it somewhere near him. He'll do the rest. 38-yard touchdown on third and 16. They already find them in rough trouble so far. Baptiste get a little free with him. Who's their quarterback, by the way? Wilds. To the outside. It's kind of where we probably should have been, but I believed in Lorenzo, and I should not have. Maybe I'm thinking of Nathan Vasher. I don't know. Uh-oh. Bad play by us. And, man, I'm trying to get those hit sticks with Baptiste, and I'm just making him look like an idiot. He does look undersized, I will say. 5'11", 225. He doesn't look it. He looks like 5'10", 210. Like, that doesn't look like a, a, a 225 to me. Try to get the press and really helped him because trying to go for the press, we just ended up getting blocked. Hit power is insane. Oh, almost caught that over the middle trying to cover someone else. Baptiste catches him, but not until a first down. Good lane there for Dalvin. Yeah, on paper, Baptiste looks great, but that, that size is worrisome. Definitely worries him. I didn't even take a look at the block shed, but size is easily going to be a problem, I feel. Good job, Obi, playing that good corner roll. Makes him lose a yard. It's going to be third and 11. Good chance for them to get some points as long as they don't lose a bunch of yards here. We're actually going to blitz with Baptiste. We trust the cornerback coverage. Baptiste is coming, and he barely misses him, but he did enough to force him all the way to the left side of the line. And Davenport obviously wraps up from there. Saquon wants everything. He wants his 10th season rushing touchdown. He wants his 40th of his career. I mean, it all kind of ties in together, but still. Try to cut it right because we had Chark on that edge, but couldn't get there. But either way, huge first down. Nothing like starting the drive off with a rushing first down. It shows success. Wide open, Evan. Perfect throw. And I don't know why number 98's on him, but that's not a good look for them. However... Got to give the big man some credit there because it wasn't for Pritchard or whatever his damn name is that Evan could have scored. Good effort to keep going, you know, even when it looks like he's not going to be involved. And Gavin Ryan, that's a throw that Josh is used to making. That's a tough one for him, though, because he's got to put enough air on it for Burgess to recover. And he just put too much. Can't underthrow that ball, so in fairness, if you're going to make a mistake, make it an overthrow. It's a very dangerous pass if it's, uh, if it's under. Gavin Ryan on the run, and he makes that throw somehow. What a damn dime, but how does he make that throw, but he misses the other one? I don't get it. I'm starting to think maybe uh, Gavin Ryan isn't much of a touch passer. Honestly, if we decide to keep Gavin Ryan, I, I, don't know, I can't really keep him. I think he might need a contract. But I think if we get a chance to trade him, he's easily worth the first round and then some. He's amazing. He's amazing, and we're proving his value. Of course, a little lackluster, but we showed a third and six there, obviously. Uh, we now get the ball back. Tune with a chance at it. Just kidding, this ball is gone. And by gone, I mean gone. It went through the end zone. It's our fault. Uh-oh. Oh, what a throw. Saw Chark way late. I didn't think he was actually going to run all the way up field. Probably would have had a touchdown there. Good ass throw, though. Sorry for the profanity, but I was excited. Let's get Burgess involved. Maybe a little more Evan Ingram action. I like Evan Ingram still, even though he's getting on the... Uh, eh, he's not really older, is he? Evan Ingram pick up a block. Can't pick up a block because Cooks kind of retreats. Maybe. Maybe not. I probably could have had him. Good sit down by Cooks. He's going to get it all the way down to about the 13-yard line. Good 12-yard line. Probably should have stopped at the 13. Good fight, though. Ooh, almost threw it to the backup. Gavin Ryan. And wow, what an effort by whoever that is. Who is that guy? And there goes Vandermaid. The perfect read. Wide open for the touchdown. I had a good chance. I, you know, I thought maybe there was a chance. And, oh, this is his first touchdown catch. Nice. They're driving down a little bit, trying to make this thing more interesting. 
Keenan Allen against the big safety. This could be a career ender for Keenan if he gets popped. Oh, look at the play. The bait city for Baptiste, who has a chance. Baptiste is too fast. Looking kind of like a running back, honestly. But reminds you of Brian Westbrook. Look at the man. Already got some swagger. That's going to earn the trust of his teammates. And just to ensure that even a little bit more, going to get the teammates involved in the celebration. Showing that it is a team effort, even though he's already big man on campus. Look at that. Already rallying around the man. The absolute bait of the century. Even Lattimore's like, damn it, that was really good. So we simmed ahead a little bit. Uh, you know, they did score a touchdown. We're up 28 to 10. Let me know if you guys want to see that for our series, especially when we're just absolutely murdering a team. You know, it gives them a, a definite chance to do better. Oh, look at Wilds. Oh, Wilds getting Wilds. But it definitely gives them a much better chance to win or just even come close. Even with the sliders the way they are, I think we're a perfect slider right now. It's just even then, I think just the core gameplay of this year's game is too broken to really compete. So I think that's the best way to do it. You can see here they're driving pretty decently. I think the uh, the two-minute drives, those are pretty damn solid. Uh oh Oh, Obi right on it. I do think um, this difficulty, it kind of hurts the AI when it comes to baits because the AI, it tries to cheese you by going for very quick reads. When someone's open for a second... You know, against the AI, they're going to make that quick read. But obviously, if we're usering, the game it sees that split second opening and they just throw it there. I didn't even bait him. I just completely ran the route and he just threw it anyways. And the baits, I can see it. Here goes Ballage with the power move, which would be freaking interesting. And there's a face mask. All right, four seconds to get down the field, about 35 yards. I don't expect Nelson really do much. So we're going to slant Nelson and wheel Barkley and might drag everyone out and Barkley has a one-on-one -on -one shot. I am actually going to give... Gavin. Yeah, I really should have waited. I think I, that guy off the edge kind of got me going a little bit because usually Hail Mary defense for the offensive line, I don't know why, it just does terribly. I don't know what, what they did to him. Uh oh, Gavin Ryan will make you pay. Gavin Ryan will make you pay. Honestly, at this point, I'm almost half tempted to keep him as the starter. He's just got a smooth release. I was really hoping Chark would have helped for a block. Couldn't really do it. Maybe it's the throw power. Maybe uh, 99 throw power hurts you more than helps. I don't know how that's possible, but that's the only thing that really stands out between the two. I mean, even there, not great throw power. It gets that there perfectly fine timing. Back to the ground. This should be an instant first down. Even though they are bringing him up, I don't expect too much, but I do expect the first. And I guess there's a lot to expect as we gain about 12. Barkley may not be too happy with this look. He may get the you know the first down or the touchdown, but oh, maybe not. Gavin Ryan up the middle. Gavin Ryan down to the three. Felt like Joe Flacco there sliding almost at the very last possible moment and then blaming someone else for hitting me late. Shark. Oh, he went for the one-hander. Shark. Really running a very shaky route there, can't lie. Gonna need a lot of good things to happen here for this to go. Oh, maybe not. Maybe Saquon's just gonna outrun everybody. All he needed is that first initial block. He got it. Gives his 40th career touchdown and his 10th on the season. Like I said about Simeon, I know we lost a lot of clock, but the Broncos are starting to move the ball a little bit. I don't think I could really use her coverage anymore. I just don't think it's very viable for their chances to win. And we are just getting hammered. Lattimore, that was a really weird recovery, but he made the recovery. Kind of threw his body into the whole thing. Not even worried about it. Tremaine, honestly, we didn't use her that. He would have had a touchdown, so I really got to stick to my guns, even though it's almost impossible for me. Let's go with McFarlane. Inside, picked off by Edmonds. That's all AI. Edmonds, one to beat, makes the move. Edmonds could be gone. He's running. He's a big monster, but he gets down to the seven. Jesus Christ, he is a freak. They want us to waste a minute, 20 seconds from the seven-yard line. Yikes. Especially with this easy touchdown look. I don't think that's going to happen. I don't think that's going to happen. I don't know if there's a way to change the sliders for speed, but that would maybe do something. Maybe lower our speed by 5%, up theirs by 5. Well, they got a touchdown in Sim. We gained six. Oh, God. Ballard struggling to run people over, though. I don't want to leave this game until I see a monster truck by him. 
Yeah, I, I know what I said. Monster truck. Haha, <laughs> very funny. All right, Barkley, you just need to gain three yards and the whole team gets happy. Yeah, that's a bit more than three yards. Good job. Almost even got the first. Not a great game for Barkley, but a couple of touchdowns makes up for it. Apparently, a 67-yard field goal is in the, in the works here. I'm never one to deny that, and I may have missed the accuracy. Lots of leniency, though, and Jesus, he could have hit that from 71, maybe. Oh, snap! 69-yard touchdown for Keenan Allen. I was just going to sim and let them get closer and see where we're at, but I, I guess they're just going to score right away. I wish our whole front line was made out of Tremaine Edmonds. I don't know how much of a, a meme Tremaine Edmonds is. It'd be kind of funny to make like a, a full team of Tremaine Edmonds video. I don't know. He's like the main guy that I know that has bad catching but has lots of potential. Surely this would have been a time for Sony Michelle to come in, right, EA? No? Guess he's just not tired enough yet. He looks pretty tired to me. Even like fumble the ball. Come on. There was a fourth down as well. I could have thrown it to him. Crap. Forcing the ball in. And he was out of bounds anyways. Good attempt though. That was a dime and a half considering all uh, angles there. Legal touching will be the call. We won the game there. A very awkward finish. But I think honestly with a young quarterback like this. Up by so many points. It's kind of smart to, you know, throw in new angles, new scenarios, new plays, different players when you got a chance to do so against a professional team. You know, they didn't shy away from, you know, contact or shy away from keeping their starters in. They, they kept it all in. You know, they, they went for it the way they would normally go for it. It's just we put up some, you know, so many points early. There was just no chance coming back for them. Five takeaways. They can have all the yards they want, but those five takeaways, that's the huge key to winning the game we usually don't have that good you know that good of a turnover ratio usually we throw a couple of picks or fumble a few times ourselves Gavin Ryan though with almost the perfect game a little bit low on the yardage but that's kind of the way the game went we were just kind of messing around seeing what we could do with different uh scenarios of course no one really got too many uh, receiving yards there's only 250 to go around anyways and we spread that around pretty damn evenly if we're being honest Tremaine Edmonds, Baptiste with an obvious 91-yard pick six. Probably more than some of the guys we have on the team, and he's the first, you know, it's the first time he's doing it. I should probably take a look at his actual ratings, as, or not ratings, but season stats as well, and see how he was doing But with the Eagles before he joined us. Don't want his dead to go down. I actually don't think he can. I think he's a one-year. Deep threat for Marquez, Valdez, Scantlin. Doesn't really get too much that I care about necessarily. Of course, now we're moving into the trade deadline, which is now officially passed. Josh Allen, there's no question about it. You're sitting, dude. What's the injury? 70. He's only got 87, so uh, player is healthy. Gavin Ryan, uh, he's expected to come back for what? Schedule return week 13. Damn, that is a, a very big injury. You know, we could have brought him back several weeks earlier. We don't need to though. We've got we've got plenty uh plenty of talent. We got some negotiations still to do. We'll deal with that next week. Did Baptiste get player of the week? Superstar player did not. Unfortunately, there was two picks for row. Doesn't outweigh a pick six of 91 yards, which is unfortunate. Let's take a quick look at our guy, and he only has two picks total now. 47 tackles, which is pretty damn high though. So. And he's the best DB on the team for tackles so far. That pick six was nice, though. I can't lie. All right. So, I mean, that's pretty much all we have for the week. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. If you're new, maybe subscribe. If you uh, and like the video, maybe like it. Follow me on Twitter, Jerome Care. Also, follow my second channel, PK or Plays. It's usually in the top line or very close to the top line of the description. Uh, I want to upload more on there, and I definitely would have more motivation if I had you guys suggesting things and commenting on the videos it would definitely mean a lot so i appreciate you regardless thanks for watching hope you guys come back for next video but until next video see ya